Today on Sugar Spun Run, I'll be showing you how to make lemon cookies. Hey Sugar Spun Bakers, Sam here, and today I'm sharing an easy, no chilling required recipe for lemon cookies. I think you're going to enjoy this recipe, so let's go ahead and get started. Now the first thing you want to do is preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Next, you're going to need a large mixing bowl or a stand mixer, either one will do fine. And to that bowl, we are going to be adding two sticks, or in my case where I have half sticks, four sticks, uh, or one cup of unsalted butter, and you want this to be softened. I don't know who decided to make these into half sticks because when I bake with butter, I don't mess around. We always need more than a half stick. It's not a diet channel. Now the next thing you're going to need is one and a half cups of granulated sugar, and we are using just granulated sugar, no brown sugar for today's recipe. In a lot of my recipes, I like to use granulated sugar and brown sugar, but here I found that the brown sugar kind of bullied the lemon flavor a little bit. Meanwhile, if we use granulated sugar, it helps the lemon flavor really shine through. You get a more distinct lemon taste. Now the next thing you are going to need is two and a half tablespoons of freshly grated lemon zest. I usually find that I need two full lemons to get enough zest for this. I'm just going to grate these over a piece of wax paper, that way it catches all of my zest. Now, whenever you're zesting a lemon, you wanna make sure that you don't go too deep. Now, all of the flavor is mostly contained in this bright yellow rind, and just a little bit below the surface, you can see it gets to be less yellow as you go deeper. If you get to this bright white layer here, this is called the pith. It's actually very bitter. It's right above the flesh of the lemon, the actual juicy part of the lemon, but you do not wanna be zesting that or you're going to have bitter cookies. So stop right when you get to that white part. Make sure we get everything we can off this lemon. Don't wanna be lazy here. Don't wanna waste anything. I know I'm out of shape because this is making my arms tired. Add this lemon zest right in there with our sugar and our butter. That might have been a smidge closer to three tablespoons than two and a half, but we're just gonna roll with it. Now, you're going to wanna grab an electric mixer if you're not using a stand mixer, and we're going to cream these ingredients together until they are light and fluffy and nicely combined. I like to add the zest at this point because while we're mixing everything together, it's getting beaten up with the butter and the sugar and some of those oils are being released. It's going to help give you a more flavorful lemon cookie. Now we're going to be adding one large egg plus one egg yolk. I like using that extra egg yolk in these cookies because it helps make the cookies a little bit more chewy, a little bit more tender. We are also going to be adding just one fourth teaspoon of vanilla extract and one teaspoon of lemon extract. Make sure you actually like the smell of the lemon extract that you're using. I've used some in the past that just smell like cleaner and they, the flavor just does not come out right in the cookies. So make sure you're using a quality lemon extract. Now we'll use our mixer again to stir everything together. All right, now we're going to need to grab a separate bowl for our dry ingredients. We're going to start with three cups of all-purpose flour. Now, if you haven't already, I really recommend you watch my video on how to properly measure flour because if your cookies come out dry or crumbly or if they don't spread properly, it's probably because you've used a little bit too much flour because you may have weighed it incorrectly. I really recommend checking out that video for any recipe that uses flour. We'll also be using two teaspoons of cornstarch, one and a half teaspoons of cream of tartar, 3 fourths teaspoon of baking soda, and just a half teaspoon of salt. And we'll stir these together so everything is well combined. Now we'll gradually stir our dry ingredients into our wet ingredients until everything is completely combined. When I was pregnant with Luke last year, we did a lot of lemon recipes. We did lemon cupcakes, lemon brownies, and lemonade. And it was right when I first started to get morning sickness. And it took me a long time to be able to smell lemon again after that. Other things I couldn't stand included Chick-fil-A and granite countertops. It's a weird time in my life. The last of it in there. We'll just briefly scrape the sides and bottom of the bowl, make sure everything is completely combined. You don't want any flower pockets hiding in your dough. Looks like I did a pretty good job. 
I love recipes like this that don't require any chilling because I'm not very patient when it comes to cookies. So our dough is ready at this point and we can start baking our cookies. Now I'm going to be scooping level one and a half tablespoon size scoops. And I'm just going to drop that into my palm and roll it into a smooth ball. And then I'm going to roll this through some powdered sugar. We'll space our cookies about two inches apart on the baking sheet because they are going to spread some in the oven. I usually don't measure my powdered sugar. I'd say this is about a half cup and I probably won't use all of it. All right, let's take these over to our 350 degree Fahrenheit preheated oven where they'll need to bake for about 11 minutes. Now you'll want to let your lemon cookies cool completely on the baking sheet because when you first pull them out of the oven, they'll be slightly underdone and they're going to finish baking completely on the cookie sheet. I love doing this because it helps keep the cookies really nice and soft and chewy. Otherwise, if you cook them too much, they're gonna be a little bit hard and crunchy, which I'm not a fan of. And that is how easy it is to make lemon cookies at home. Hope you guys enjoyed today's recipe. If you try it, please let me know what you think. I always love hearing from you. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Mm. It's so good.